today a lot of uh, people know about this hotel and uh, not all of these people uh, know about your person you cre created uh, the concept of this hotel can you say a few few sentences about how it starts uh, the idea behind this hotel is related to our life and our situation in Bethlehem and in Palestine. Uh, it is very much related to Banks as well. Most like the biggest idea is uh, Banks's idea. It meant to give the opportunity for the visitors and the tourists that come to Bethlehem to learn more about our life as Palestinians, how we live under the occupation. Um, of course, uh, the location helped us to develop the idea and to add uh, other things into it. So, all together made a perfect uh, example of um, um, like the uh, or like the whole thing made a perfect uh, installation, art installation that gives the opportunity uh, to teach people about what we want them to learn about. Look, uh, after the wall was built in 2002, uh, lots of media talked about building the wall, but then it became an old story. So, uh, but the wall is a reality or became a reality in Bethlehem, but it's a bad reality because the wall converted Bethlehem into a prison. Today, there are gates to come in to Bethlehem or to get out of Bethlehem. Uh, we Palestinians are normal people. We deserve a better life. We don't deserve such a life that we live around walls and fence. Uh, so the message to the world and the message also to the Israeli society is so important for us because even we always say like even we are neighbors but we don't know much about each other. There are lots of stereotypes that each side would hold about the other side. So the, the hotel is a place where people, of course, all people are invited to come to, uh, to, to learn about how we live in Bethlehem and in Palestine. Uh, as I said earlier, most of the tourists that come to Bethlehem, they come for religious purposes. They come to, to see the Church of the Nativity, they go to see uh, other archaeological or religious sites. Uh, and most people even it, like forget that there are people live here and uh, uh, and lots of even tourists come with the stereotypes about Palestinians because the image of Palestinians being always uh, messed up in the Western media. So uh, this is an opportunity for us to meet with people and also to present uh, the other side of the story or our narrative as uh, Palestinians through the, this art installation, through the hotel and the facilities that we have at the hotel. A lot of media describe uh, this hotel uh, as a unique hotel or special hotel. But uh, as for me, it's not only due to the Banksy works. It means you have here more interesting things, not only the Banksy works. What do you think? What makes this hotel special? Well, uh, there are many elements that made this hotel very special. Um, I will attribute the main success of the hotel to Banksy, who uh, was the curator of the hotel. And uh, at this hotel, uh, we have the largest collection of Banksy artwork in one place, I think in the whole world. We have everything that you see here uh, is original uh, Banksy artwork at the, at the piano bar where we are sitting. Uh, also, Banksy came and painted inside the, uh, some of the rooms at the hotel. Uh, so the hotel, it's a hotel, but it's not really a hotel. I mean, if, if you take it to the international standard, this is not a hotel because uh, it's, it's um, like hotel should have uh, like uh, 24 rooms and up. Even we're not a boutique hotel. We are a small guest house. We have only nine bedrooms. Uh, so hotel is our name. So it's a world of hotel but we are not in the category of hotel. Uh, most of our clients, most of the people that come here, they don't come here to stay, because uh, like uh, we don't have much rooms, as I said, we have nine rooms only. So most of the people that come here, they come to visit the museum, they come to visit the gallery and to look at Banksy artwork. Uh, so, uh, so since we opened, every year, each year we had 
uh, at least uh, 100,000 visitors, like 100,000 visitors per year. Yeah, I think we had more because uh, this calculation, we took it from, from the intro of the museum, but uh, lots of people all, also came uh, to the hotel and did not enter the museum, so we cannot figure out exactly how many people visited. But uh, it's, uh, it became a place to be visited in Bethlehem. Uh, so, yeah, I said, like you asked me about interesting things, yeah, I mean, the hotel carries also Palestinian art. Uh, we have uh, two spaces dedicated for Palestinian artists. We have the new bar that we, uh, we built during uh, COVID uh, closure. And uh, we have also the largest uh, gallery in Palestine. Uh, and we choose very interesting artists from all over. Uh, Palestine, from Gaza, from the West Bank, from even uh, like uh, Galilee and so on. And uh, usually those people, um, like their art is related to the message of the hotel that makes it more interesting and uh, more, more unique. Yeah, actually, nobody knows who is Banksy. The people in all over the world, more than 15 years, try to, tries to understand who is it. And you're company on partners so maybe uh, you can share how did you make yeah it was a very interesting story because I'm in business uh, in tourism business and uh, I met Banksy in 2005 when he came first to Palestine to paint on the wall and at that time I did not know who he was I mean he was just a regular guy just an artist and uh, to be honest with you, I never heard of Banksy even uh, at that time, like never heard of an artist called Banksy. Uh, so he stayed here, we stayed together, we've done lots of things together. And months after he left, there, were, there was a report that I saw at Al Jazeera TV talking about his artwork on the wall, that artwork that he'd done while he was with me. Uh, then I realized that was a, a big artist and uh, this is how it all started, you know, we became friends before I knew who he was. Uh, then we've done like several things together till we came to the point that we've decided to, to do something permanent in Bethlehem to uh, support, um, uh, you know, the message that we try to reach the world with. So, yeah, we started more as friendship than a business and uh, then here we are, the world of hotel. At the entrance, I see uh, all welcomes in three languages. But the question why, uh, as a third language, was chosen Hebrew? Yeah, um, simply because uh, this space is made for everyone. And uh, we don't want to ignore our neighbors that live next to us, even despite of the conflict, I believe that everyone is welcome. And I think it's important for the Israelis to come and visit such a place. I'm talking about civilians, to come and visit such place to learn about us as Palestinians. Uh, understanding the story or understanding the other side is so important. So through this art installation, I think we present our story in a good way and it could be uh, well understood by Israelis and by the international visitors when they come here. One of the most important things that we took in consideration when we built this hotel, that this hotel is, on, is as I said, it's, it's open for everyone. Like I don't have a checkpoint outside to check who you are. I mean. I mean, it's like Israelis will come, anyone would come. We're not asking for ID cards when they, when they come over here, but we know that lots of Israelis come, okay, and lots of Israelis like to come. I mean, we tell our story as people live under occupation. Uh, so like we are a victim for the occupation and we have to tell our story, okay? But uh, like all of the information that we have in there are uh, facts, it's built on facts. I mean, I think the whole museum is, uh, makes a small chapter in a small book that was written or uh, like uh, uh, by, uh, by even a Jewish uh, author or Palestinian writer. Uh, so it's just, it's built on facts 
and uh, uh, sometimes facts are hidden from the eyes of lots of people and uh, through our art installation and through the museum and even through our hotel you can feel how we live in, in Bethlehem, how we live in Palestine. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's not meant to offend anyone, but it's, it's meant to provoke people and make them think in a different way. It's very important for, for, um, for Israelis, left wing, right wing, whoever they are, okay, to, to know what, what is the impact of the occupation on, on the people over here. And I think that would make change, that will make difference. The same for the international community. So uh, we have outside all welcome in Hebrew and also like when you go into our museum, you see that we meant to put also uh, the main uh, section panels in, in Hebrew language as well. Um, you know, so to, you know, because like, as I said, like everyone is welcome and we want everyone to come over here. My next uh, question connected to, to, your, to your answer, uh, it means, for example, in Israel, our artist uh, works in all, almost all topics. It means about the culture, about the nature. And here in the gallery of Palestinian artists, I pay attention that the majority, it means 99% of topics, is Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Is it, uh, can you explain it? It means, uh, why to, is it that? You know, to be honest with you, uh, uh, yani, we, we try to, I mean, to, to, we try to have artwork, good artwork in different topics and different subjects. But uh, believe it or not, that it's so hard to separate the good art from the reality that we are living in. So most of the artists, I mean, I, I, I mean, like if, an, if a Palestinian artist want to paint a landscape, okay, uh, you would see a wall in the back, uh, like on the, um, on the horizon, or you may see an, uh, an, a settlement. Uh, uh, so, this is a part of the experience that Palestinians live everywhere and it's, it's, it's affecting their art, it's affecting all of their lives. Uh, which makes the Palestinian art very special because it's uh, most of it, like especially when you come to a good art, it's so monumental. It talks about uh, a period in the history if, if it's well done. And, uh, yeah, the, the our art is so popular. Like uh, like what you what you see uh, upstairs, everything will be sold uh, as soon as we open to uh, art collectors from all over the world, uh, because the art is good and also as I said, it's monumental. Yeah. So uh, like when when you are an artist in Switzerland or in in uh, like sitting in Tel Aviv, uh, differently you will paint Have something. Have more chance to, to, yeah. to make. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, but like if you have an artist living in Bethlehem, uh, yeah, I mean, you may paint flowers or uh, uh, like a naked, uh, beautiful girl, but uh, you will be kind of out of content, uh, especially, uh, you know, like when you ignore your reality, yeah. I mean, there are artists who would paint such things like uh, nature, and there are lots of artists in Palestine not all of the art is political, uh, but all of the art has the, uh, the touch from the, the, the life experience, the, yeah. And my last question, Wissam, is about the hotel itself. Yeah, uh, yeah. first, uh, all of the artwork that you see at the piano bar was done by Banksy, even the wallpaper uh, on, the, on, on, on the walls uh, was done by Banksy. Uh, we have uh, like a new pieces or a new piece that arrived recently to the world of hotel which is the model of Jerusalem uh, which is also at the piano bar. Uh, we have um, advanced piano here it's, uh, it's a Yamaha that you could 
play through the internet. Uh, we have also uh, the museum, which is the museum that talks about, that describe our life in, in Bethlehem and in Palestine. Uh, we have an art gallery and uh, we have nine bedrooms. Yeah, we say inshallah and yeah, of course we are, we are welcoming everyone here. Everyone is welcome and uh, we like to see more people coming to the world of hotel and to Bethlehem and to the whole country. Yeah. Thank you for, for your time. My pleasure, thank you.